Hi, it's Christina with Sweet Hot, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a tutorial I did on how to get the stripes on the wall behind me inside my cleaning closet. Hope you enjoy! Here's the project I'm working on now. It's going to be a cleaning closet with a cabana stripe paint detail. And what I did was measure out six inches from the last piece of tape with pencil line. See how I have all these pencil lines? Start at the top and press down at each pencil line very lightly. Press down the whole piece of tape, smooth it down all the way down to the baseboard. Keep doing that. I went ahead and marked the spots that were going to have white stripes instead of the color that I'm going to be using. I won't accidentally paint on the areas that are supposed to be white. So the next step is kind of a pain, but it is highly recommended, is to paint the tape with the opposite color of the cabana stripe that you're going to do. I went ahead and painted from the ceiling to the baseboard the tape edge so you get those crisp paint lines when you're finished. So you can tell I'm doing the white glaze in one stripe and a wall color in another stripe. Now that I added the wall color and you can see that I did it all the way up to the painter's tape so it makes those clear crisp lines once you remove the painter's tape. I'm going to start removing the tape. Just something to pull up. And see how I left one flat color in between the pink and the white? It kind of gives us a little bit of detail, a little bit of interest to the cabana stripe. Paint lines are really crisp and clean, and that's due to painting the tape. So here you can see that I did a pink wall color, a flat wall color, and then this one was a translucent glaze that is called iridescent pearl that you can find at Lowe's. And then I did my painter's tape to make this effect with the stripes. So this is the finished result. It came out so pretty. See the metallic line with the pink and then the flat paint? All together it just creates a really nice effect and it will be a joy when I open my cleaning closet from now on. So nice. So I really hope you learned something new you can use in your next painting project and remember to subscribe, click like, and favorite this video. Comment below with any questions you might have. Check back here or on my blog, Sweetheart, for more information and tutorials from me, Sweetheart. Be sweet and thanks for watching.